this video, I am going to show you how you can customize your blog page or you can make a custom blog website using the Bloxy theme. We will be utilizing the Bloxy Pro as well. So if you are interested in learning how you can make the custom blog page using the customizer and some other elements in the Bloxy theme, without further ado, let's get started now. Alright, so here you can see I have this title. In here, maybe in your case, you need the title or you don't need the title. And then after that, we have these filters that we actually need. So we are going to be creating these filters as well. And then we have these cards here. And you can see we have this reveal animation applied to that. So I'm going to show you how you can make the similar kind of layout in the Bloxy theme. So for that, what you actually want to do is to click on this customize button right here. And once you click on the customize, the Bloxy customizer will start getting loaded. You will have to wait until it will get loaded and in here first of all you will see this option blog post so just click on this blog post and first of all you will see this option blog title for now let's disable that option and once you will disable that option you can see we no longer have that title showing up right here you can enable that option right here and it will start showing the blog title here for now the page is news that is why it is show the news here you can see it says news and then we have this breadcrumb right, right here. The breadcrumbs are very important for the SEO purposes. So make sure you always have the breadcrumbs for the different pages or the blog posts on your website. Now here you can see there is a tiny arrow here. If you will click on this tiny arrow, you can see we have further options here. You can choose this type one or type two, whichever you would like to use. I am comfortable with the type one, so I'll go with the type one. And then if you want, you can also use the content block here. So content block is like the dynamic options that comes with the Bloxy theme. I'm not going to use the content block options here, but we are only looking at some of these options. If you want to change the alignment, you can change the horizontal alignment from here. You can make it left, right, right, left, right, center, anywhere you would like. And then you have some of these designs option to design or customize the colors and the typography option for this title and the breadcrumb option that you have here. Then after that, we have this card option. I'll come to these filters later in this video. For now, let's look at these card options. Now in here, you can see Bloxy provide you these five different kinds of templates. If I'll choose the simple template, you will see that we'll have the blog post, something like this. And then they have this classic option available as well, which is like classic where you have the featured image at the top and then the title and then the excerpt and the button right here. And then you have grid option and the enhanced grid. So if I enable the grid option, you will see that all the posts that I have are showing in the grid of three columns. And you can see these are all in the three column grid. What I was using is this enhanced grid. So just click on this enhanced grid where you can see you have this option where you have two posts showing up like this and then three posts and then two posts and then three posts. So this is like alternating layouts. And then you have one of these Gutenberg template here as well. I'm comfortable with this enhanced grid. So we'll be using this enhanced grid from here. Then right here, you have this number of post options. For now, I have selected 12 posts. You can choose any number of posts that you want. Then after that, we have this content area vertical spacing option. So here for the content area vertical spacing, you can see we only have selected on top. You can choose top and bottom or you can use the bottom. If I choose on the bottom, you can see it is switched and it is moved to the top and if I enable open only top, you can see we have the spacing right here at the top. You can disable the spacing if you want to, but I would like to use the spacing on the top. Then right here, you can see on the page elements, we have the sidebar and the pagination options. So for the sidebar, if I enable this option, you can see you can decide where you would like to display the sidebar. You can display the sidebar on the left side or you can display the sidebar on the right side. However you want, this is completely up to you. So let's just keep it on the left side for now, like the way it is showing. And then you have this pagination option. So for the pagination option, I don't have the pagination right now, but if you will decrease this number of posts, you will see the pagination right at the bottom. So this is called the pagination. You can also stylize this pagination in the Bloxy theme. For that, what you have to do is to click on this tiny arrow. And once you will click on this tiny arrow, you will see this option pagination type standard. So for now the standard is selected. You can choose next previous. And here actually you will have to wait. And here you can see we only have this next or previous option. 
and then you can have load more or infinite scroll you can enable the infinite scroll option from here and as you scroll down it will keep loading the new blog post for you i don't like that option that's why i disabled the pagination option and i set the number of posts to the 12 posts so it should display all the posts that i have available so it should maintain the structure of, a, of the blog post now there are different kind of option available for the cards as well so here you will see this option card option so click on this card option and once you will click on the card option here you can see you have some simple card boxed and the covered cards so if i enable this boxed option right here you can see we'll have a simple boxed card option and then if i enable the cover option it should change to the cover option so this is actually the card option and it will change to the cover option i think i'll have to publish this and then let me just give it a refresh so here let's just give it a refresh and right here you can see this is actually the cards option this is entirely up to you however you would like to display this option i'll go to the card option and i'll change it to the boxed option right here so that we'll have the boxed in the boxed layout you will have this tiny shadow below these cards that's how the card option works so here you have the control over elements that you would like to display for now we have this featured image title and the post meta that includes this date and the category so if you will expand this option you can add more items here or you can reduce the items from here then you can also display the divider if you want to and then we have this read more button you can decide if you want to display the read more or if you don't want to display the read more and then you have this design option where you can go through the colors and the typography settings so these were all the different kind of options available for these cards now let's just see how you can enable these post filters that you are seeing right here so this is actually where you would require the Bloxy companion. So just go to the dashboard of your website and then from here you will see this option Bloxy. Click on this dashboard option and then it will open this Bloxy dashboard. Then click on this extensions options. And once you will click on this extension option from here you will see this option post type extras. Make sure you enable this option from here and then from here you can enable this read time and the post filter. And then if you want to customize the taxonomies like the categories, you can enable this option from here. And then if you want to embed the dynamic data and you want the more control over that, you can enable this option from here. So for in this tutorial, we are only looking at this read time and the post filters. So I'll just enable both of these options. And once you will enable these options, you will find this new option post filters that will show something like this. Then you can see there is a tiny arrow. If you will click on this tiny arrow, you can see we have two different designs available for that. You can enable this button kind of thing here or you can keep it like that. I think this looks more minimal and this looks more beautiful. So I will keep it just the way it is. Then once again, you have all of these different kind of styling options. You can go through all of these options and then you have these designs option available here as well. So you can design however you want to design these options so this is basically how you can design the blog page now let's have a look at how you can design the single blog page so let's click one of these blog posts and once you will click on one of these blog posts it will open the single blog page now here you can see we have this featured image and then the post title and some ex um, additional information about the post and then the post content is here and then we have a sidebar which is actually a sticky sidebar and then we have this share and then pagination and then the newsletter sign up and the comment section. So let's just look at all of these different options. So let's go back and here you will see this option single post. So click on this single post option right here. And once again, you have these different kind of layouts available. You can pick the narrow width, the normal width or the left sidebar or the right sidebar. So just because we have selected the left sidebar on this news page, which is our blog page, I'll select the left sidebar for our single post page as well. Now, as you scroll down here, you can see the post element option. So here under the post element option, you can see we have first of all this featured image, which is showing here and you can click on this featured image to go here and see the different kind of option. You can pick the different kind of aspect ratios for the featured image and then the Bloxy theme also support the video thumbnails. If you are using the video thumbnails, just enable this option to toggle on the video option in the thumbnails. So here you can see image location above title or below the title. If you will enable the below the title, it will display the featured image below the title. I want to keep it as above title because that looks more good. 
and then you have this design option where you can adjust the border radius of your featured image so let's just go back from here and then you have this post tag options if you have assigned some post tags you can enable the post tags option and it will display the post tags i don't have the post tags attached to the, any of these blog posts so it is not displaying anything now after that you have this share box so here this is the share box so here if you click here you can see this is how the share box is looking for now the type one is selected if you want you can choose the type two and you can see this is how the type two look it is entirely up to you however you would like to use this and here is the title share your love here is this title share your love you can change that title and then you have the control over whichever things you would like to display maybe you want to display the whatsapp and the email you can just enable those social icons and it will start showing up directly right there then you can go back from here from the share box you have this author box option just enable the author box option and you will see this author box right here you can make your own author box just click on this edit button and here you have this different type of author box available you can pick the type one where you have this author box showing up like that or you can choose the type 2 however you would like to display your author box i actually don't want to display the author box so i'll disable the author box from here and then we have this post navigation you can see this is the post navigation once again you have this tiny arrow you can click on the tiny arrow and then you can see the navigation criteria for now it is set to default if you want to set it to taxonomy you can set it right here and then you have these design options right there then we have this page elements option where we have this related post so as i scroll down here you can see we have this related post showing up something like this you can click here and then in here you can see for now it is set to default and it is not a slider if you want to change it to slider you can change it to the slider and then you can set it to autoplay and then it has this delay of three seconds meaning it will automatically change after the three seconds and then you can actually go through the design option to design your slider however you want to now you can go back from here in the single post we have this comment section where people can post their comments and then we have this subscribe form that is showing right here now if you want to display the reading progress you can enable that option here and right here in the header you can see we have this reading progress bar showing up something like that so if you will click on this reading prox reading progress right here it will open further options and then if you will enable this auto hide it will hide automatically whenever someone will reach at the bottom you can see at the top that reading bar is not showing anymore so these are all the different kind of options available for the blog post and the single blog post for your blog website in the blog C theme. I hope you find this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates. If you have any question, drop them in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.